and welcome to my turquoise stones and chromes workshop. In this workshop I'm going to teach you how to create a turquoise stone effect using gel polish with a little bit of chrome. I really hope you guys enjoy this workshop so let's get started. and welcome to my turquoise inspired design set workshop so I've already prepared these nails and as you can see I've done a full cover turquoise uh, pressure stone inspired nail so I have done a full cover on this nail and I'm going to show you how to do that on this half and half nail and then we are also going to do a little bit of crystal placement with a turquoise stone which is the most beautiful cabochon from Crystal Parade. So these are available over at Crystal Parade. If you want to place an order with them, please make sure you use the code Lauren5 to get yourself a cheeky discount at checkout. So I'm gonna pop that to one side just for now because we are going to work on this nail. So I've already prepared this nail and I've gone in with Flying Saucer which is from the Sherbet Collection on this top section here and then I have gone in with Black Widow from our core collection which is our black on the bottom section. So you can see this line is a little bit wibbly wobbly, I want it wibbly wobbly, I don't want it a perfectly straight line and you'll see why later on in this video. So I'm just going to pop my colours down, so I'm going to go in with Flying Saucer on my palette and then I'm also going to go in with Jungle Jive which is from the core collection. I'm going to pop a little bit of that down as well and then I'm also going to use Golden Girl which is from the Tiffany collection. All of our products are available over at www.getnailedbylaurenmcbride.com. I'm going to pop my Black Widow down on my palette and then I'm also going to put Innocence down from the Core Collection, which is our white. And this is all gel polish. It isn't gel paint, so it is all a 30-second cure. And I'm also going to put down all about the base, which is our base coat. So that is going to help float out these mediums. So... I'm going to go in with my go-to brush. Now this brush is perfect for this set because it holds a nice amount of product but it's also got that tapered end to it as well. Okay, So the first thing I'm going to do is go in with All About The Base and I'm going to cover the blue part of my nail. I don't want to cover my black part because I don't want to thicken this up too much. And then we are going to go in with my Innocence and I'm going to mix that with a little bit of that base that I put down just to make it slightly more milky because I don't want it to be a solid white. And then I'm going to go in and create some vein-like squiggles and swells on this nail. So by no means does this have to be perfect because it's a semi-precious stone. So we want that mottled effect to this. And because we've laid down that base coat on here, you can see how it's gonna to start to bleed out, which is exactly what we want to happen. So I'm just gonna turn my light down so you guys can see a little bit better. Now I'm gonna go into my Jungle Jive with a little bit of that flying saucer and I'm going to slightly mix the two together and then I'm just going to create random splodges of this colour and then again because we haven't cured this yet it is going to bleed out and create a softer edge which is exactly what we want to happen. And then I'm going to go into my flying saucer and do the same again and create random splodges in and around that jungle jive. 
So this is all about layering and creating depth. Okay, so once you've done that, I'm going to pop that into the lamp and that's going to go in for a full cure, which is 30 seconds. Now the next stage of this is to add some of that vein work in there. So I'm going to do that by using my 10 mil liner brush. Okay, and I'm going to go into Golden Girl just with the very tip of my brush. I don't want too much on here. And then we're going to create some veins. So very lightly, just going in, giving it a wiggle. You'll probably think I've got the shakes. I haven't. I'm intentionally wiggling this brush. Because we want some parts thicker, some parts thinner. Just to create that mottled vein-like effect. Okay, I'm now going to clean my brush off and I'm going to go into my base coat and I'm going to go on top of those lines that we've just done and just float over because again I want them to bleed out ever so slightly. And then once you've done that, if there's any areas that are a little bit too solid, I'm just going in and dragging that product around to create a softer edge to these veins. So again, that's gonna go into the lamp for a full cure. And like I say, because this is normal gel polish, that is a 30 second cure. So then what we're going to do once this is cured, I'm gonna go in with my black and then we're going to create ooh, a little bit more detail around these lines. So I'm just going to go in and with that shaky hand again, start to create, it's almost like a cracked effect in and around these veins that we've just put in with our golden girl. So again, taking it all the way down to that black. And then once we've put it down, I'm not gonna add any more to my brush, but I'm almost tapping this to make it even more mottled. So any areas that need a little bit more, just go in and do that. Need a little bit there, and this really is just judgment by eye. Okay, once you've done that, that's going to go in for a cure, and then we're going to go into that flying saucer and jungle jive mix that we've created. And I want to soften this, and again, this is creating depth, so I'm just literally tapping this over any areas of that black that needs softening like so and then adding a little bit of depth in with that jungle jive okay into the lamp for a cure and then we're going to go back in with our golden girl and we're going to create more depth with regard to this gold, but I don't want to bleed it out too much. I want to have patches of this gold in here. And the reason I'm using golden girl rather than a gold gold is because it's that more bronzy tone, um, which is what we want in this turquoise stone. So now I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna find areas that need to have that little bit of interest and just tap it on and then blend it out. We don't want it to be too solid. Like so. I'm just gonna pop a little bit here coming into the nail. And then with a clean brush, I'm just going in any areas that are a little bit too solid, 
just tap them out if you need to add a little bit of that flying saucer then do so and then once you're happy with that you can go in for a full cure so I'm going to go in for a full cure which is 30 seconds and while that's in there fully curing we are going to move on to our crystal placement so I'm just going to get rid of this because we don't need this anymore But before we do our crystal placement, I'm going to do a little bit of chroming. So I'm going to use my black gel paint. And the reason I'm using black gel paint is because I want to chrome it. So on this now, I have already done two coats of our Black Widow. Now, obviously, if you were doing this on a client, you will have done your base coat and uh, your prep and then gone in with your two coats of black gel. Now, you can see here I've got an oval. What I've actually done is marked out where I want to put that cabochon. So that cabochon is gonna sit right in the center of that nail there. And that has just given me a guideline of where I need to do this black gel paint. So I'm gonna go in with my five mil detail brush and I'm going to come in around here. Now the I understand that this is going to be underneath of the cabochon but I don't want there to be any gaps with regard to our outline so I'm actually coming and filling in this area here so that if you can see under that stone slightly it is completely filled in with our chrome so anywhere that you put this black gel paint is going to be where our um, chrome is going to sit so I'm going to go in with my dotting tool and I'm gonna put some dots around this so I'm gonna come in I'm just gonna grab a bit of that out from my pot so it's easier to work with so I'm gonna do a dot at the top and at the bottom and then at three o'clock and nine o'clock and then I'm going to do my two dots in between those so that is the easiest and best way to make sure that this is nice and even so I'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure which is 60 seconds and while that's in there curing this has now fully cured so what I'm going to do now I'm going to go in with material girl which is our matte top coat okay and the reason I'm doing that is because I want to chrome this line so if we matte top coat it means that our chrome isn't going to stick to our matte background it is only going to stick to where we put our black gel paint. So nice full coverage of this mat. And obviously if you're doing this on a client, you want to steer clear of their cuticle sidewalls and also make sure that you cap that free edge. So that's now going to go in for a full cure, which is 60 seconds. And this has now had a cure. So I'm going to go back in with my um, five mil and we're going to create a leaf shape coming from the center point and then bring one down at the bottom as well And then once you're happy with your leaf shapes, I'm just gonna tidy that one up there slightly. Once you're happy with that, I'm gonna fill it in. So I'm just gonna make this one slightly bigger to match the one at the top. And then fill that in.
okay and then once you've done that I'm just going to do some smaller teardrop shapes here coming from the sides like so okay so that again is going to go into the lamp for a full cure and then we have got this now here so I'm going to grab my 10 mil liner brush I'm going to go into my black gel paint and I haven't got the shakes I'm going to give this a really nice wiggle okay because I want it to be thicker in some areas thinner in others so if you're tuning in now please don't think that I've got the shakes going on okay so I'm going to pop that into the lamp again for a full cure I'm going to grab this nail out and then again I'm going to grab my dotting tool and I'm going to come in and do some dots around my teardrops making sure that we get one on the end and then come back around here like so and the same on this top teardrop And then I'm just going to go either side of this side teardrop. Okay, so that's now going to go in for a full cure, which, like I've said, is 60 seconds. And now it is time to chrome. So the chrome I'm using for this is from the Lioness palette. Okay, and I'm going to use this light antique gold. So I'm going to go in with my applicator and I'm going to pick up my chrome and then I'm going to go over where I have put my black gel paint on this nail and then I'm going to give it a really good rub and then just with a soft dusty brush I'm going to remove that excess and there won't be too much excess but we just want to remove it from that black okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my I'd rather be shiny which is our no wipe top coat and I'm going to shine up my stone effect and also seal in that chrome okay so I'm going to remove that excess and then just go in with the brush from my bottle and butt it up against the edge of that chrome line. You can use a detailer brush to do that because I want to leave my black matte. Okay, so that's now going to go into the lamp for a full cure. This has now fully cured, so I'm going to go in with that same chrome that I have just used from the Lioness palette, and I'm going to cover all of that black gel paint detail work that we have just done with our chrome. So making sure that we get into all of those little dots and details that we've created. like so okay and then again with my soft dusty brush which is just an old acrylic brush that has completely dried out I'm just going to remove that excess how beautiful does that look so stunning so simple now what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal all of that in with my I'd rather be shiny 
just to make sure that that chrome is nice and secure in there. And again, obviously, if you're doing this on a client, you want to steer clear of their cuticle side walls and also make sure that you cap that free edge. Okay, so that's now going to go into the lamp for its full cure. This now has now fully cured and is finished. So we have got that beautiful shiny stone effect with our chrome and then our matte black, which I think looks stunning. And as two accent nails with the rest of the nails being black, I think this would look absolutely beautiful. But we are going to apply our um, turquoise stone to this third nail. So to do that, I'm going to use Gem Buddy. Now Gem Buddy is your perfect crystal adhesive for pointy backs, flat backs, cabochons, caviar beads, anything that you want to apply to a nail, Gem Buddy is what you want. So I'm just going to take the lid off of my Gem Buddy and it has got a nice thick viscosity to it. So it is going to hold that cabochon in place. So I'm just going to grab this nail out. Now I do have a separate 5mm brush that I use for my gem buddy because it just stops me from having to keep cleaning my brush. So I've just created a little peak of product there and then I'm going to pick up my cabochon with my katana and pop it on the centre of that nail. Now this is exactly what I wanted to happen. I just wanted those dots to be popping out from the underside of that cabochon. So I'm just gonna pop that on, make sure it's in the right place, and then that is gonna go into the lamp for a full cure, which is 60 seconds. So while that's in the lamp, I'm going to prepare my caviar beads. Now, I have got gold caviar beads here, and what these are going to do is it's going to help to secure that cabochon in place because it is quite a large stone and it is also going to make sure that it lasts for your clients and it's not going to be coming off anytime soon. So I've just put a little bit of gem buddy down and given my caviars a good swoosh around in it and what that is going to do is it's going to encapsulate each caviar bead into that gem buddy so we don't get any um, any caviar beads that are we don't get any thickness of gem buddy coming out from that caviar bead so I'm going to go around the entirety of this stone with caviar beads so once I've done that I'll see you back here okay so I have now gone around this entire turquoise cabochon with those tiny little golden caviar beads you can see there so what that does is it fills in that gap between the nail and the cabochon and there is also safety in numbers so that is acting like the claw setting for this cabochon it's lovely and secure on there and I have given that a full cure for 60 seconds and that completes this design set so I'm just going to pop this with the other two I'm going to pop that one in the middle and then this to either side of it and it is absolutely beautiful and you can see this genuine turquoise is the same as the turquoise nails that we have created and that completes this workshop i really hope you guys enjoyed this workshop and if you did please make sure you click the subscribe button and if you want to see any future workshops just click them down below Thank you as always so much for watching and I'll see you all soon.